Britain's wondership, the Queen Mary, has made maritime history. She steamed majestically into American waters, breaking the east to west record, and it was everybody's secret that she would attempt a similar feat on her return. And she has done it. The Queen Mary comes home to Southampton in great triumph. Her time from Ambrose Light, New York, to Bishop Rock, Silly Isles, was under four days, and her average speed 30.63 knots. She is the first ship ever to put up such a magnificent performance, and so wins the coveted trophy from the Normandy. As she noses her way through the Solent, every ship gives her a blast of welcome, and her siren booms a reply. Commodore Sir Edgar Britton, in a proud speech, tells you through Pathy Gazette that Britain intends to keep the trophy. This afternoon, I have made an exception to an unvarying rule, and for the rest of the reason that I think this is an exceptional occasion. The Queen Mary, which I have the honor to command, has just completed two new transatlantic records today. The occasion is naturally a very gratifying one to Cunard White Star Line, myself, officers and crew. I think this is a great performance under conditions which have prevailed on the Atlantic in the last few days, so that one can hope with a certain degree of confidence that even a better record should be attained by the Queen Mary at some future date. <laughs>